We are back for an annual tradition at Roberson Museum. We're with the executive director, Michael Grasso. Michael, thanks for allowing us into the enchanted forest again. <laughs> Thank you so much for being here. It's a pleasure to have you. Now, this is uh, the community uh, event uh, of the year, I think. Everybody participates. They bring in uh, different, well, they set up their trees. They decorate them in very unique ways. What's going on here this year? I mean, this has of course been a challenging year for the museum like it has been for so many other organizations, nonprofit, for-profit. Um, so it, it's been an interesting year, but I'm so happy to say that we have just as many trees as we've ever had. Our volunteers who come in and they decorate, our sponsors who have um, their various events here every year. Everybody just banded together once again to support the museum and to put on this wonderful show for the community once again. And it's a lot of fun for uh, a lot of the kids, the grandchildren and people's children. They can come in here and it's fun to have your picture taken <laughs> with, uh, with all these trees. It really is. And we've got great activities for families this year. Um, we've got various craft shops that happen every weekend. We have piano players in the mansion. And yeah, absolutely stop by, have a photo taken, make sure you keep your mask on. But yeah. yeah, we're happy to have people and we're even doing um, pre-registrations this year so we can plan out how many people are in the building oh, that's as smart. an extra safety precaution. Oh, um, yeah. So pre-registrations on our website, roberson.org. And we're just really excited to have everybody and bring back a sense of normalcy to the community again. Right, we need that bad. We have a whole bunch of organizations that have come out to just showcase what they do here in the community and also support the museum at the same time. Um, one of our larger sponsors is the Raymond Corporation out of Green oh, yeah. and they do a phenomenal display every year. It's absolutely beautiful and it's always something different. This year they've actually incorporated some student artwork into their display that I'm really excited oh, about. Oh, that's nice. Yeah, it looks really great. It's really interesting. Um, and then, of course, we're surrounded by all these other nonprofit organizations as well. I mean, right behind us, we have the Goodwill Theater and Shore Family Firehouse Stage, oh, yeah. HCA, the Binghamton Zoo at Ross Park, Cornell Cooperative Extension, all these organizations that help make the community full and unique and special. They're all here. I think the train is coming in. <laughs> the train this... display is still active, and in fact, it's been totally rehabilitated since last year. <laughs> it looks great, and we're so grateful to our train volunteers who have come in, and they spend so much time and so much care. It's definitely a family attraction. Well, let's take a look. Let's do it. And here we are at the mainstay. 
of the uh, annual event, the International Forest. Indeed we are. This is one of our traditions here at Roberson's, the International Forest. We have all of these groups that come in and they showcase all of their various holiday traditions from around the world, which is one of the great things about this community is that we have so many different cultures represented. Well, they are all really wonderful. I see that there's uh, Ireland is back there. And I wasn't aware there was any Irish people around here. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> there's a fair few, I believe they would say. Um, yeah, Ireland is here. We have France, Lithuania, Finland, Ukraine. Scotland, Ukraine is here. Um, and it varies a little bit from year to year, depending on which volunteers come in, which ones are available. Um, but yeah, every year they, they tend to change it up a little bit. And it's just a really great opportunity to learn something different about our community and about our neighbors here. And here we are in the centerpiece of the museum, the actual mansion itself. I love this building. It's an absolutely incredible building and it was, it was a wonderful gift to the community back in the 1950s. The original owners, Alonzo and Margaret Roberson, gifted this wonderful house to the community back after their deaths. And um, it's, it's, seen, it's seen a lot, I mean, this was originally meant to be a, a space of convening, of scholarship, of discussion. Um, it's had offices in it. It's had ballet in the ballroom. There's There's been a lot of permutations of this building, but as it's of right now... It's in such very good condition. I mean, it's just perfect. It's like you, somebody could move in here tomorrow. <laughs> it is. Um, Alonzo Robertson was a lumber baron, so he built this house to last. Yes, and he, he really was showing off a lot of his, his uh, goods here with all this beautiful trim work. And the palladium window at the top of the, uh, up at the landing on the stairs, that is just gorgeous too. I mean, everything, all the details in here is just, you know, just perfect. Everything is absolutely beautiful and really pristine. Um, this time of year during Home for the Holidays, it gives us a chance to showcase the mansion in a way that I think that the Robersons would really have appreciated. Um, everything is decked out fully over the top, uh, different kinds of themes in each room, and it really just highlights the, the beauty of this home. Michael, when can people come here and, and check this out? Home for the Holidays is open seven days a week, except for Christmas Day and New Year's Day. Um, we are open at 11 a.m. every single day, and on Thursdays we are open late until 9 o'clock, as well as on Fridays until 9. Um, we do ask people to make reservations if they are able to do so. They can do that online at roberson.org. That way we'll be able to keep everybody safe, separated, and we'll limit the number of people here at any time. And can, can someone uh, just call in and set up an appointment? Absolutely. If someone doesn't have internet access or it's challenging for them, they're welcome to call our front desk and they can absolutely do that for them. Oh, great. Well, Michael, thank you very much for letting us come in today and go through the property and, and your well, it's kind of a mini tour and it's, uh, it's worth every second because it's such a, a tradition for the community. Uh, growing up, you know, everybody remembers coming here at this time of year to see the place and it puts you in the Christmas spirit. It absolutely does. I'm glad you were able to stop by and you know, hopefully we'll see you again.
Thank you, Michael. Thank you.